happy Friday. Welcome to the Anyone Can Play Right podcast show. I'm your host, RK, and you are in sacred para play land. Thank you so much for joining. We are on day 31 of our amazing journey in this phenomenal book, Adult Play Therapy Devotional, 60-Day Soul Cleansing Devotional and Journal. You can make this purchase of the book um, on, through the Amazon platform. Kind of went blank for a minute. Amazon Amazon platform for hardback or ebook, or you can purchase this book directly from me, and I will sign it and put a personal message to you and send it right back to you. Of course, after a money trans transaction. Okay. All right, guys. Day thirty one. It says Google new healthy recipes. You can find many healthy and nutritious meal options online through social media, televised cook shows, or you could look it up in a recipe book. So we just talked yesterday about when you eat good, you feel good. That was our lasting quote of that day. That was our last quote. And it was, when you eat good, you feel good. So if I feel good, that's what's going to motivate me to want to play, to want to have fun, to want to think out of the box, to want to be creative, right? Because I feel good. It's really hard to create and think out of the box and want to play and have fun and get involved with your hobby or just life within itself and see it from a whole entire new and optimistic perspective if you don't feel good. When I feel bad, I don't want to think about things in a happy way, but when I feel good, I can think about things in a happy way. I can see another side to what's going on and be able to create something inventive from that that fun perspective, from that positive perspective, right? From that vibe, that good, good feeling vibe, right? So when we eat good, it helps aid in that feel good process and in that feel good result. So we're, we're just piggybacking off of that. You know, yesterday we talked about making a meal plan. And so, you know, you wrote down some some things of, of what you're going to eat on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And so now we're talking about adding in some recipes, finding some, some new recipes that you didn't even know about. Yeah, we heard about eggplant. We heard about baking it. But what about making eggplant soup? What about incorporating eggplant into uh, El, an Alfredo or into, you know, any of our pasta meals? There's so many different things that we can do, even pureeing it and putting it into meals. Hmm. So that's something to think about. Here goes our journal prompt. What healthy recipe did you find that you are excited to cook next? So let this be something that you are excited to cook. I find that whenever I'm excited to cook a meal, it comes out so much better. Or if I'm cooking, I really don't know exactly all the details of what this meal will be, but I'm so you know, just, just pumped and enthused to see what's going to happen. I find that I experiment more that I'm willing to say, okay, let's put a little cardamom. Let's see what that'll be. You know, let's go ahead. Let's, let's add this spice. Mm, let's add just like maybe a little tiny pinch of sugar right here and a little tiny pinch of salt. Oh, okay. That's great. You know, what if we put, and I don't really use a lot of butter, but occasionally, um, you know, like maybe with the soup, what if we put the butter in at the very end and put it in the bowl and just let it melt and have like this nice little glaze over the top? How does that change the, the flavor? Like those kind of things, just having fun with it and allowing yourself to be able to experiment and add to the joy of cooking. Cooking should be something that you enjoy, not just something that you do as a duty, not something that you do because of your position in the house. Oh, I'm the one who always has to cook. Make it something that you enjoy. This is that time to find a recipe that's going to light you up, set you ablaze. So when you go in that kitchen, you're just like, tch, 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 tch. we'll add a little bit of lemon. What if we use the rind of the, lizard, of, of the lemon, not the lizard, <laughs> of the lemon? Does that change this flavor? Does it change the texture? And just being able to just enjoy it with your senses. They call it mindful eating. They call it mindful cooking. Being able to enjoy each moment of it. So guys, that would be my, my main thing is to find a recipe that makes you excited. Not something that your spouse or partner would like or your children would like or your mom would like or your in-laws would like or your dad would like or your siblings would like. But that you like. Don't try to find something or depress people when they come over. Like I'm going to try out this recipe so when people come over. I can let them know how I made this this shrimp with whatever, you know, make it something that you enjoy. That's that simple. 
So, all right, guys, thank you so much for continuing to be with me on this amazing journey of the Adult Play Therapy Devotional as we continue to explore and learn and discover so many different aspects of ourselves in our playtime. So, guys, you have an amazing Friday. Thank God it's Friday. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.